All right, so what's going on guys? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my YouTube video. Woo! And today we are going to tackle Turbo Track. So just a reminder, friendly reminder, if you haven't seen my guide for Crash Cove, Gingerbread Joyride, Wabas Pyramid, Tiger Temple, etc. And you are having difficult time beating the developer there, then now's a good time. So back on the topic, Turbo Track, and it's against our dear developer William P. And expect it to be a challenging one, of course. So for this guide, I am going to focus on the user and area because I'm sure that's the part where people are having difficulty. And I would also like to say this at the beginning: if you are if you are already performing really good against William and he is always ahead of you, don't give up. Don't give up because as long as you can see his ghost. From your point of view up until the third lap before you reach the end of third lap the final lap then you have a chance to win you have a chance to win because the devs ghost messes up on purpose before the final lap ends and you can use that time to overtake him okay all right so for this guide i'm going to present two methods two u-turn methods First is the conventional U-turn method where you hop around and follow an S-track. And then for the second method, it focuses on U-turn without jumping. Or you can call it grounded U-turn or U-turn on the ground, something like that. So yeah, basically, you will still press the U-turn buttons except for the jump button. So let's start with the conventional one. Um... As I said, I'm going to focus on the U-turn part, but I will still let my replay, my gameplay play so that you have an idea on where to cut the grass, where to boost, where to power slide, etc. Just a reminder. For this current video being played right now, I am using speed. But I believe it's also possible. It is certainly possible to defeat the dev ghost here with drift. Okay? Speed or drift, you can do it. Okay, so for the first part of U-turn, conventional U-turn. As I said earlier, it involves jumping around, hopping around while pressing and holding the reverse button, which is the down D-pad, and the brake button, which is square for the S4. Or if ever you change the mapping, then the brake button, the brake button. And by, uh, by pressing either left or right, depending on your position. <laughs> so like for this one, I am facing right since the next path is going towards right. And then start the S path here. And as you can see, I move to the far right so that I have more space when I turn to the left. So just keep holding the brake and reverse button and then switch to left. Wait, let's start. So here, start hopping and hold the right brake and reverse button. And then, when you need to switch, press the left one while still holding reverse, okay? You can't let go of the reverse button or else it will drain your blue fire, which is really crucial. You are not allowed to lose blue fire in this particular area of the track. Okay, and then... Left, left, and then right. More space. There we go. And then go to the go to the turbo pad. Basically, that's it. Really, really easy. So just keep practicing it. Hmm. Let's let it play this. Boost, boost. If you want to play it safe, then go to the turbo pads before you gra before before you do the grass cut here. Let 
you just keep boosting here, you can just keep on boosting on the grass here. And then at the end, jump. So that you can skip a few grass that slows you down. And conventional, right, left, right. Just keep hopping. I lost... <clears throat> I lost my blue fire for a moment there, but that's okay because we were able to access... The blue fire pad immediately. Cut the grass here. Bam. Boost. So this is me playing safe. And I and as you can see, William is still up ahead. Again. Right. Left. Right. Then boost. Boost so that you can maintain your blue fire. Then bam, you win. I believe William has a time of around 1.33 here. Okay, wait, I'll show you where he messes up. Hmm, okay, around this area. As you can see, look at his go slowly. He messed up on purpose. He, he, he doesn't even take the blue fire pad here. And that's why he's going really, really slow around this area. And this is your main opportunity to overtake him. Get the boost here and then jump, jump, jump. Cut this grass area. U-turn if required. Like what you can see in the video. My controller. Just keep jumping so that it doesn't slow you down that much. And you win against William. Okay, reminder again. U-turn. Um, So the moment you reach here, press the U-turn buttons, and then go to the far right first. Never let go of reverse and brake. Hold them like <clears throat> your life depends on them. And then press the left but left D-pad. Go to the far left. Play it safe. Keep your fire. Go to the go to the blue fire pad. Go. Okay. Done. Done. If you have any questions just let me know in the comments and then next we proceed to the next method which is user without jumping or ground u-turn and for this one i use drift again i'm just gonna let it play the areas where i boost are almost are exactly this are almost exactly the same as speed as you can see here, I'm going over the turbo pad so I can get a lot of reserves. Because of this particular method requires a lot of reserves. And you have to be very careful. You have to be care you have to be very careful on suddenly releasing the reverse button. Then the moment you reach around this part, you focus on just pressing right, reverse button, and brake button. As you can see here, with my controller. So you have to do it um, around before this wall. Because it takes some time to slow down. It takes a few moments to slow down. Like this. Remember, you are going at blue fire speed. And you won't immediately stop. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, let's go back again. It's kind of similar to the conventional U-turn method, except that there's no jump involved, and you won't have to jump or take an S-path. I mean, I just literally did a, a literally did a U-turn. Straight, then U-turn. A new turn. There we go. As you can see, William is still up ahead of me. Cut the grass here. Boost. Boost. Get those reserves from the turbo pad. Boost again. One, two, three. Jump. Oh, I didn't jump, but that's okay. And then. You turn buttons before the wall here. Go to the right. 
Press Axel to the left. Press reverse brake and left. Press Axel. Right. Reverse brake. Or you can do that instead. You can mix. You can mix the grounded U turn and the conventional U turn. Like what I did here. Jump. Because I felt that I was going to lose my reserves and my position was not the best one. We're still going with William. We are now going toe to toe with him. Honestly, I think my time with Drift is better than the one with Speed. Jump, 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 jump. Okay, final U, final U turn, lap three. Press the buttons. To the right. Axel. To the left, Axel to the right. I jumped there. Then we win. So basically for this method. For this method. It involves... Pressing the U-turn buttons without jumping, then accelerating, U-turn buttons again, and accelerating, then U-turn buttons again. And you can mix both, like what I said earlier. I have a specific, I have a specific video here, where I do it halfway. Okay. Hybrid, okay. around this area okay look what I'm gonna do here I believe I'm using speed here um, so press the u-turns required the, the, the buttons required for u-turn without the jump then if you if, if you feel that you're going to bump the wall then you can jump like in this part Basically, just mix both, and you should be good. Here again. Oops. There we go. That's a perfect example for mixed U turn. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it mixed U turn. I mean, I even bumped the wall here. I even bumped the wall here, but I didn't lose fire. Thanks to the update. Walls being friendlier now. U turn to the left since I felt like I wasn't I was gonna bump the wall then I jumped then jump again and basically that's it just remember to fill your reserves as much as possible and you can do that by getting perfect boost going over the powers go, going over the turbo pads as much as possible so that will be the end of this video guys um, I'm going to attach a replay at the end so that you can review it if ever or just pause in the middle of my video if ever or just reverse if ever you need to go back to something that isn't clear. And as always, comment on this video if ever you want to see any more tracks next or if something is not clear to you on what I discussed here, just comment it. And then leave a like if it helped you and a comment as well. Would really, really, I would really, really appreciate it. So thank you for watching. I'll see you on my next tutorial or my next live stream. Much love. Bye bye.
Okay, dude.